the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent before him. From the rising of the sun, even to going down of the same, my name shall be great among the Gentiles. And in every place, incense shall be offered in my name. And pure offering for my name shall be great among the heathen, saith the Lord of hosts. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above, ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Almighty God, who through thine own begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened unto us the gates of eternal life. We humbly beseech thee by thy special grace, preventing us thus do to put in our mind good desire, so by continued help we may bring the same good effect through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth and thee and the Holy Ghost, even one God, world without end. Amen. From all that dwells beneath the skies, let the Creator's praise arise. Let the Redeemer's name be sung through every land, by every tongue. Dear beloved, the scripture moves us in sundry places to acknowledge and confess our manifold sin and weakness that we should not disseminate nor cloak them before the face of the Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, but confess them with an humble and lowly and patient obedient heart to the end that we may attain forgiveness of the same. Wherefore I pray and beseech you, as many as are here present, to accompany me with the pure heart and humble voice unto the throne of the heavenly grace, saying, Almighty and merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much after the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and have done those things which we ought not to have done. And there is no help in us. But thou, a Lord, have mercy upon us as a visible offense. Spare those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are patient according to thy promise declared to mankind. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, bring us near to Thee, and when our earthly labor are ended, have us with Thee, and with that glory shall be our best and brightest reward. Amen. Ye must be born again, and life in Christ must have. In vain the soul may elsewhere go. Tis his alone should say. He must be born again. For so has God decreed. Tis only blood washed ones are there. The rest are forgiven.
my sisters and brothers, in an ancient and Jewish ceremony, we are taught that it is a custom of the women of Jerusalem at a certain hour of the day, upon the stated period of the year, to repair to the outer court of the Temple of Solomon to offer their devotion to the Most High and give thanks for divine privilege. In representation of those ancient ceremonies, I now ask that we exemplify our earnest and devotion to the principle of our beloved order, the Eastern Star. I am the resurrection of life, saith the Lord. He that believes in me, though yet he was dead, yet shall he live. Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Swirly Matron, what duties of adopted Matron have we to perform? Our duty is to point to the rosary tents of the sun, sunrise in promising a blissful resurrection to those who follow the bright and morning star, Christ. They may weary on the way, worthy matron. Oh no, worthy patron. The royal ones of our order will not weary of any of its teaching. The light of the eastern star is as clear today as it was 20 centuries ago. The same star which led the wise man to the major cradle still speaks to us of the wondrous life. Then it's, it's earthly infancy of him who speck as never a man spoke. Sister Soldier Matron, what lesson have you of the Eastern Star? It is written that the morning stars sang together at creation's birth, that we can easily believe those who so rejoice over the coming into being of this lovely world of, our sin, of ours, and may have been permitted to lead the way to the birthplace of him who came to save the world. The resemblance between his eventful and blessed life and the five great events which the five rays of our star embolize is too vivid to be lost. Sister Conductors, what lesson have we to teach? Unfading beauty on the banks of the pure river of light, clear as crystal is the tree of light with, which yielded in fruit every month. It is no night there, neither sun nor moon. For the glory of God doth brighten the all that blissful place. Perfectly bright, beautiful are the faces of all the redeemed there. For they see the face of God, and his name is written in their foreheads. Sisters, a soldier's conductor, what promise made among the lilies? A promise of inevitable consolation was once made in mist. The lilies of the mountain sighed, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Believe it that the humble may look up the lovely way, may hope the unerring eyes will detect them and miss the flowers of his fields, and they shall not fail to realize his promise. Come, ye blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom. Stop. Unfading beauty on the banks of the river of life, clear as crystal, is the tree of life which yielded its fruit every month. There is no night there, neither sun nor moon, for the glory of God does brighten all the blissful place. Perfectly beautiful are the faces of all that redeem there, for they see the face of God and his name is written in their foreheads. A 
promise of inedible consolation was once made amidst the lily of the mountain side. Besides are the pure in heart, but they shall be seen God. Believe it that the humble may look up, the lonely may hope. For the unerring eyes may detect them amidst the flower of his field, and they shall not fail to realize his promise. Come ye blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom. Sisters, we are now here to hear from the bright ray, which has scattered our lesson far and wide, ever since our beginning. Sister Ada, please voice the symbolism of the blue ray. The blue symbol of fidelity, even unto death, speaks from the first ray of Ada, who resigned her life in fulfillment of the vow of her father, even as Christ, the Son of God, resigned his. May we, like Ada, ever prize a stainless record white. We, then unveil, can lift our eyes, though facing heaven's own light. Sister Ruth, please voice the symbolism of the yellow ray. The color yellow, emblematic of gold, tried and purified, speaks from the second ray of Ruth, who forsook her native country, princely friends, and a beloved home, even as Christ, the lily of the valley, forsook his. The master calleth some to reap, some humbly glean the grain, the faithful working, though they weep, never find their labor vain. Sister Esther, please voice the symbolism of the white ray. The white ray, white emerald of the spotless robe of the Persian queen, speaks from the third ray of Esther, who risked her crown, even her life itself, to save her people from unpending death, even as Christ the righteousness, the son of righteousness offered up his. With Persian noble queen we stand in true victorious might and fearlessly with heart and mind defend the cause of right. Sister Martha, please watch the symbol of the green ray. The color green, which is the hue of spring and covers every grave with a mantle, speaks from the fourth ray of Martha and Bethany, who mourn the loss of friends, even as Christ, the Lamb of God, mourned his. Our hope in God, our truthful faith in immortality, shall, bring, shall brighten life, shall conquer death, and face eternity. Sister Electra, please voice the symbol of the red ray. The color red, the hue of blood and wine, speaks from the fifth ray of Electa, who resigned her life for a testimony of the truth, even as Christ, the lion of the tribe of Judah, resigned his. While higher power shall now impart new light on precepts true, may symbols true instruct each heart to we this lesson view.
This white rose, the queen of flowers, is the perfection of beauty. In paradise we believe they never wither. God has given us manifold and wondrous truth in the stars of heaven. But the revelation of his love is not less plain in the flowers, which are the stars of earth emblems, or bright, or brighter than brighter, better land. The rays illustrate the given name, the Savior in prophecy. There are several styles. The Word of God. In the beginning was the Word. The Lily of the Valley. The Son of Righteousness. The Lamb of God. The Lion of the Tribe of Judah. They also show us the long uh, procession of events which uh, commenced in Bethlehem's stable and culminated in the crown of Olives, the events which are summed up in the history of Christ upon earth. His birth in the Bethlehem stable. His life on earth. His death on the cross. His resurrection on the third day. His ascension on Mount Olivet. He was ever known as fairest among thousands and altogether lovely. Sunday ceremony. 